Hello, this video is on partial differentiation and how we can calculate the first and second order derivatives. And before proceeding further, please subscribe to my channel and in case you like my video, so please share it with your friends and like it also. Thank you. So let's begin. Partial differentiation. Before moving to partial differentiation, first we'll understand about the types of functions. So a bivariate function is a function with just two independent variables while multivariate function is a function which depends on more than two independent variables. So in the differentiation we did uh, we have find the derivative of just one independent variable that was x but in case of partial derivatives we find the differentiation of bivariate and multivariate functions that is the functions which are dependent on more than one variable. So suppose your function is z is equals to xy. So in this case the partial derivative of this z that is dependent variable with respect to x will be written as this and the partial derivative with respect to y will be written as this. So instead of d that is used in differentiation this is swirl d in which this is little bit curvy. So this is the symbol which is used for representing the partial derivatives. So partial dif uh, differentiation is built on the same lines of ordinary differentiation. So before proceeding with it I would suggest my students to please go, th go through my vi differentiation video series and see how we can find the differentiation of various functions by applying the various rules and techniques because the differentiation under partial differentiation is exactly the similar one. In fact for a function of just one variable the partial derivative is the same as the ordinary derivative. For example in case you have to find the partial derivative of z is equals to 3x cube so since this is just one independent variable x so the function is so the partial differentiation of this z in terms of x will be this is power rule so 3 into 3 x raised to power 3 minus 1 so 9x square which is just same as the ordinary derivative so just the symbol got exchanged but the partial derivative will be same as the ordinary derivative in case the function is having just one variable. Now question is how we can do the partial differentiation. So in order to find out the first order partial derivatives in general for a function z is equals to xy the dz by dx is found by keeping y as constant and differentiating as usual with respect to x. So in case we are finding the partial derivative of z with respect to x we will keep y as constant and as you know as per the constant rule of differentiation the derivative of constant function is 0. Right? Similarly in case you have to find the partial derivative of z with respect to y in that case you will keep y as constant and you will differentiate as usual with respect to y. So for example in this question you have to find the first order derivative. So in case you have to find the first order derivative with respect to x so this equation in this we will use some more difference rule of differentiation. So we will find the differentiation that is partial differentiation of each variable individually. So we will use this sign that is partial differentiation with respect to x, x4. Similarly partial differentiation with respect to x with this function and so on. Now since this is in respect of x, so the partial derivative of x4 is power rule. So it is 4x raised to power 4 minus 1. So that is 4x cube. Similarly for 9x square y4 this is the product rule. So we will take 9 as common. So first function x square as it is y4. Since this is a not respect of y. So this is a constant. So the differentiation of constant is 0. Plus y4 as it is 
into differentiation of x square will be 2x raised to power 2 minus 1 plus 5y square this is constant so 0 and derivative of 30 is 0. So this is your final answer. Similarly in case you have to find the partial derivative with respect to y now you have to keep x as constant. So in this case the de partial derivative with respect to y for x4 raised to power 4 will be 0. 9 you can take as common. This is the product rule. So x square as it is y raised to power 4 the partial derivative will be as per the uh, power rule. So it is 4y cube plus y raised to power 4 as it is and the differentiation of x square since this is constant so it is 0 plus 10y square uh, 5y square so this will be power rule so 5 into 2 raised to power uh, 5 into 2 into y raised to power 2 minus 1 minus the differentiation of 30 is 0. So similarly this is the answer in respect of y. Now the question is about second order partial derivatives. So second order partial derivatives also like the higher order differentiation they are obtained by differentiating the first order partial derivative again with respect to the independent variables. So let for a function where z is equals to as a function of x, y. So the first order partial derivative with respect to x in case you have to differentiate again with respect to x keeping y as constant. So this is the symbol and in case you have to differentiate again with respect to y keeping x as constant. So this is the symbol. So it's Notice the denominator it is with respect to the same variable so it is dx dx and in case it is first it is in respect of x then it is respect of y so it is dy by d into dx. Similarly in case you have to find the partial derivative with respect to y again so if you uh, differentiate it again with respect to x so this will be dx dy but in case you differentiate it again with respect to y it will be dy dy. So these are the four symbols which you can use in order to find the second order derivatives. So second order partial derivatives we have four formulas and we can further club these four formulas into two types of partial derivatives that is direct partial derivative. It is the derivative with respect to the same first and second order variables. So the symbol is this where in the denominator it is xx and yy. In case of cross partial derivatives the partial derivative with respect to the different first and second order variables. So in this case the denominator have both the variables. So this is cross partial derivatives. So in the example you have to find the second order partial derivative of this function and we have solved, solved it earlier also. So the first order derivative of this function is this that is the dz by dx is equals to 4x cube plus 18x y raised to power 4 and the derivative of z with respect to y is this. This we have already calculated. Now we have to find the second order direct partial derivatives. So in case of direct partial derivative this function will be again differentiated with respect to x only and this function this partial derivative will be differentiating again with respect to y. So these are your direct partial derivative. So for this function it is dy by dx then again dy by dx. So this is first 4x cube. So this is 4 into 3 raised to x raised to power 3 minus 1 power rule plus then this is the product rule. So 18 as common. So x into first uh, function that is x into second function that is y4 this is 0 because this is constant plus y4 and derivative of x is 1. So this is 12x square plus it, uh, 18y raised to power 4. Similarly for 36x square y cube plus 10y in this case first function is the product rule. So we will take 36 as common then x square derivative of y cube since it is in respect of y so it is 3 into y raised to power 3 minus 1 plus y cube into differentiation of x square is since this is constant so it is 0 plus 
10 y so this is 10 into 1 that is 10 so this is the direct partial derivative with respect to y now in case of cross partial derivatives we will uh, find the derivative of first order partial derivative with respect to now y so y will come here and in case of this the x will come first so for first we will find with respect to y so 4x cube plus 18 xy raised to power 4 so since this is x is assumed to be constant so it is 0 plus 18 as common then product rule x as it is into differentiation of y4 that is 4y raised to power 4 minus 1 plus y4 as it is into differentiation of x that is constant is 0. So this is 72xy cube. Similarly for this first order partial derivative we will differentiate again with respect to x now. So in respect of x so this is product uh, this is a product rule so 36 we will take as common that since this is a constant so x square as it is y cube since y is constant so it is 0 plus y cube as it is into differentiation of x square so this is 2x plus differentiation of 10y so this is, since this is constant so it is 0 now this now you must have noticed that the second order cross partial derivatives are same. So this is also given by the application of Young's theorem to second order partial derivative given by W.H. Young. As per his theory, second order cross partial derivatives are always equal for a continuous function. So as per him, if z is a function xy and it is a continuous function with continuous partial derivatives, then the second order cross partial elasticity uh, partial derivatives will always be equal so whenever there is a question in which you have to verify the young's theorem it means you have to find the second order cross partial derivatives and you have to see that both the answers should be same in case it is not same then you it means that you cannot verify the young's theorem or there is must be an error so you should double check it okay so i hope you like this video and you find it informative so in case you like it then please do subscribe like and share my videos thank you so much for all the support i have received for so far thank you